Uh, next question for Congresswoman Hanabusa. Um, <laughs> this is a fairly likely question, so bear with me. Um, a livable community is one that is safe and secure, has housing that is affordable, no more than 30% of the income is spent on housing, transportation options, and offers supportive community features and services for people of all ages and allows people to remain in their communities as they age. Transit-oriented developments can be developed with features that provide these benefits to Hawaii's kupuna. What is your vision for transit-oriented developments in Hawaii? And specifically, what steps would you take to ensure that Honolulu's rail project will create transit-oriented development that's m more income equitable and intergenerational? That is a long question, <laughs> That <General>. is. <laughs> it was a mouthful. <laughs> Let me begin with this. First of all, transit-oriented development is something that I have always believed in. And that is why in the time that I'm in Congress, I actually bought a unit in a TOD so that I can really understand how it's done properly. And in Washington, D.C., they do it right. I'm one block away from the rail station, and we have a whole Potomac River, so they call it the wharf development, and it is done exactly like how we would like to see it done. The issue for HART, or the issue for the rail project in Hawaii, is the fact that the land is not owned by the city and county of Honolulu, and though they try to maintain control over TODs, what we need to do is truly work together, and the state has to play because the land is the state. The state is the only entity that can keep the cost of housing down and to develop like kupuna complexes because the land is there for them. Rodriguez? Yes, thank you. You know, we, we, I did create a transit oriented development specialist in the Office of State Planning exactly for this purpose. It really is the fact that the state owns much of the parcels along the transit route. So we've identified and brought all agencies and all departments together to put the lands that they control on the table. We do have a process to engage uh, the entire community to identify those projects that make the most sense along the transit way, whether it be a senior housing, whether it be affordable housing. You know, one of the prime stops is Aloha Stadium and what happens with the stadium and entertainment and other opportunities to really allow public-private partnerships to deliver on the promise of transit-oriented development. Yes, we want to have the full range of access to services so that our communities can live, work, and play along the transit route. 